Hi everyone! I am so so happy to officially say it's now summer. In the summer, I love to make fruity desserts. So for this one, I made a lemon strawberry shortbread crumble bar. These are really really good if you have some strawberries that are about to go bad and I think like the little bit of lemon just en enhances the flavor. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I actually used a brown butter shortbread for the base. These bars are absolutely superb. I hope you enjoy. Now let's get on to the video. So the first thing that I did is I browned my butter. Now, I love to brown my butter first because it honestly stays really hot for a really long time, so you need to give it ample time to cool. I first melted two sticks of butter in a small saucepan and then stirred it around pretty constantly until I noticed a little bit of brown bits and then I removed it from heat, put it into a heat safe container and then put it in my refrigerator for about an hour. Once my butter completely cooled off, I then placed it inside of my stand mixer and combined it with about one cup of powdered sugar. You're going to want to add this gradually. I always do this about uh, I would say like a quarter of a cup at a time just because you don't want a lot of pour over. Um, and after this was added, I then added about one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half teaspoon of lemon extract. I also added about one teaspoon of salt. After doing this, I gradually added about two cups of flour and then I transferred this over into a pan. To specify, I pressed this down into a 9 by 9 pan, but if you want it a little bit thicker, I would say use an 8 by 8 After I got all of the dough inside the pan and got it evenly spread out, at moments I even used like a fork um, to spread it out a little bit more evenly, I then punctured uh, the surface uh, with a cup of holes, and then I placed it in my oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. While the shortbread was in the oven, it was time for me to prep my strawberries. So, as you can see, my strawberries were starting to get a little bit squishy, but that meant it was a perfect time for me to use them. So, I kind of cut off the stems, and then I chopped up um, about two cups of strawberries and then placed it in a bowl on the side. Into my bowl with the strawberries, I added about two tablespoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of salt, uh, one half teaspoon of lemon extract and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I just kind of stir that all together. The cornstarch kind of makes like a strawberry slurry and makes it a little bit thicker, which is the perfect consistency to go as a part of our bars. Now this next step was to make my absolute favorite part, which is the crumble. So for the crumble, I combined two sticks of butter, cut into, I would say about half inch pieces, one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, and one cup of oats. For a crumble, you kind of want to really get into get into it with your hands and make sure that there's still like a couple little pieces of butter. But like I said, you kind of want it to be a crumble consistency. If you haven't seen it before, it should look mostly dry. However, there should be some slightly moistened parts because of the butter in there. And then I just set that to the side. After letting my shortbread cool for about 10 minutes, I then ladled on my strawberry mixture. After ladling on my strawberry mixture, making sure to get it evenly on all sides of the cookie layer, I then added my crumble. I actually made way, way, way too much crumble, so you're going to want to half the recipe by using only one stick of butter, a half cup of flour, a half cup of sugar, and a half cup of oats. Um, but I didn't mind. I loved having like the leftovers with me. I then placed my bars back in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, and then I let them cool a bit. As you can see, they weren't as golden as I wanted them to, to turn out, but they were still just as delicious. After they cooled down a bit, I then cut them into, um, I don't know, like really, really small slices is the best way to describe it. Um, just like they were kind of like finger sized, if that makes sense. And like I said earlier, these were super, super delicious. Ultimately, I stored them in an airtight container um, for about a week. And that's basically it. That's kind of the end of the recipe. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, these are like the perfect summer treat. And I hope you enjoy making these uh, with your loved ones or for your loved ones. Goodbye!